ordering stuff from Amazon. You win this battle. But next time, uh, we'll I, I want to know. <laughs> I didn't order nothing. <laughs> Mom, you ruined it. First, do you guys feel lucky today? I want to know why they're ordering cases. Yeah, why are you ordering stuff that you don't need? All right, cat's out of the bag. This is from Papa and Nana. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Daddy doesn't have six hundred dollars laying around. This a five? No, less than five. Yeah, it's a five. Now, hang on, I gotta read you a letter from your Papa. Turn off the TV for a second. Never mind, I got it. Out of the way. What do you say? Talk to the camera. Thank you, Papa and Nana. I love you. Okay. Thank you. Well, I think we should say it together over both in the camera. Go sit over there by him. Derek, move. Now Do you want to read the letter or you want me to read it to you? We've got a letter here for you. Read it. Dear grandsons, I often think about you and wished I could share more of my knowledge from 65 years of living with you. I was really impressed at Jacob's working and saving for an iPod, but I also knew that there was so much that you did not know, like what the hardware and the options really end up costing you. I have been following iPods since they were invented in 2007 and iPhones for several years. I watch my older grandkids go through them and also watching the new ones come along every year or so. I am not a fan of Apple products myself because I do not like to be limited to one company's products, hardware, software control, which also happens to be the most expensive available, but not necessarily the best. They are great products, but at a great price and younger people are highly attracted to the iPod and iPhones because Apple is great at advertising their products. People become addicted to their latest and greatest and trust me. That is what Apple wants. People spending money on their products and at their Apple store buying music and applications month after month forever. Nana and I know how important it is to your future for you to connect with technology tools as early as possible in life because they will make your life so much better in ways you are too young to know about yet. We have been giving you guys computers for learning which you also use for fun and for communicating with friends and family. I also know that money is very limited in your family so you are not able to have fancy phones as more and more kids around you do. Parents spending $50 or, and more a month for phones and data service for their kids is shocking to me, but a reality I know you see all around you these days. Texting is a form of communicating that I admit has a lot of value, but it also causes a lot of problems because people stop talking and do it everywhere all the time and it distracts them. It is even rude in many cases because it interrupts you when you are doing other things like attending church, studying, driving, eating, talking with others, sleeping, on and on. I know young people think they need to be in constant contact with their circles of friends, and it is important to feel like you are part of the crowd. As you get older, you will learn that being different from everybody else is actually much better. In the Bible, Jesus tells us not conform to the world's ways, but to live in the world and be a light to the world and show them the way to the true light and our heavenly creator. You know why I have a ponytail? It's because I want people to see me as different. I want to stick out in a crowd and have people see me as a good example for them to follow. I like people to notice that I am different than most others in the way that I live, the way that I treat others, the way that I follow God's teaching, and the way I handle the money which God has given me to manage. So what I am saying is that it's okay not to be like everybody else. I hope you remember that. I am proud to be different than most people around me. However, I think technology tools like an iPod are incredible for learning, entertainment, and communication. They are incredibly powerful little computers and they give you access to the world and others wherever there is a Wi-Fi connection, which is almost everywhere anymore. 
You can use them to text, video call, search the internet, watch video, take pictures, record movies, play games, on and on. Since you can't afford or really need fancy smartphones, this is a great tool, but it comes with responsibilities. Responsibility that includes protecting it from getting broken, stolen, or using it responsibly. I thought about just finding a good used iPod on eBay and looked at many, but I also researched the difference between the five generations and read, read professional reviewer articles on why one was better than the other. I could have saved a lot of money, almost $200 if I had bought the last generation model brand new instead of the latest and greatest iPod fifth generation for you boys. The improvements are really huge, so I spend the extra and bought you the best. There's the best there is so now it's up to you to learn all of them on to learn all you can about them and to care for them carefully one lesson you can learn from just looking at the thousands of them for sale on eBay the better condition you keep them in the more money you can sell them for when you want to upgrade to a future version so I so to protect the screens and the backs from scratches I bought you the best cases made called otter boxes they are built to protect them in case of accidents, too. A broken or cracked screen can turn a $300 computer into a $50 item sold for parts to someone else. Just look on eBay and you'll see tons of broken ones sold for parts. So keep them in their cases and handle them carefully to keep them working and valuable to sell one day. So boys, you know you have a great tool and a lot to learn. Texting, loading music, video calling, searching, gaming, on and on. Use Google searches, YouTube videos, and your friends to learn everything you can about using them. Keep them safe from those who would steal them from you and handle carefully so you do not break or damage them. At a cost of over $300 each, you just got your Christmas early, so don't expect much at Christmas. We love you guys and pray for you all the time. Remember every day I look at your pictures on my desk and thank God that you are in my life and that I can help you through your life as long as God allows me to stay here. May the rest of your summer be a lot of fun, but hit it hard with study and sports when school starts again. Love you, Papa and Nana. That's a nice one, Dad. I think the letter was almost as good, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. was old enough to get his own. So I guess you're black and you're white, huh? I guess. Yes, I'm right. Okay, let's say Thank thanks. You. Thank you, Papa and Anna. I love you, like, a lot. <laughs>